Writing? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. No, you haven't been to bed yet, have you? Uh, no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Had a bit of a doze on the plane. <laughs> and you, Margaret, you saw it all? Oh, yes, yeah. I actually got some sleep. Not too much, but some. <laughs> so tell us about it. What was it like for you? Oh, well, it was unbelievable. It was just, uh, I suppose I just coasted along thinking that James would finish well, close to the top, obviously, sitting on 14, then 15. And then the realisation that he'd actually won it. I, I can't remember exactly what happened at that point. I'll have to relook at the video. But, uh, now, Margaret, it almost took us back to the old days where they stage managed all the last few votes so that it was a close finish. We don't do that anymore. We're pretty, really? Pretty politically correct. <laughs> it worked out, worked out the same uh, anyway. Now, James, uh, you're—I mean, you're born into a football dynasty almost. Yes. It's football's in your blood. Your grandfather played, and your father yep. played. So, what about your first games? Were you, you know, given the, the the baggage to wear that you were a herd? Oh, not really. I th probably my father didn't play that many games. I only played four games for Reston, so there was, I mean, there was a bit of. I suppose pressure on me but really the expectation I put on myself probably outweighed that sort of pressure I think uh, as, as a player you sort of expect more from yourself than other people do and if you, if you do that then uh, usually the p outside pressure doesn't really worry you too much. Are you a perfectionist? Not a perfectionist but uh, I like to get things right almost all the time. You look to be doing things so easily uh, you can read the play very well that's a natural gift is it? I suppose it's, it's not natural I think it's just spent many years playing with the football kicking the football with your father with with friends and just being able to and watching so many games of football you, you learn what football's all about and I don't think you're born naturally with with many things at all it's what you pick up along the way. Yeah, Michael talking about natural uh, you come from a rugby league <coughs> state you mm -hmm. what moved to Queensland when you're 11? Yep that's right yeah. So what are you now a vicar or a Queenslander? Underneath <gasps> it all. <laughs> well, <laughs> well I class myself as a Queenslander I, I, I've done all basically nearly all my growing up all, all my good friends are there now and um, you know I'm very settled in, in Queensland now and it's a good lifestyle the Bears are winning so I couldn't ask it for any more than that. Now all the girls watching would want me to ask this uh, how long have you had that haircut? <laughs> Well, it grows back very quickly. Um, I sort of just c didn't have the courage just to go all the way. So uh, for some unknown reason, I, I uh, did it this way. But uh, it'll be growing back now, I can tell you. Now, you think that's what the girls really want to know? I think they'd want to know, why are you blokes getting married so young? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was James. obvious. <laughs> James, I mean, yeah, go on. Oh, I've question. met a great girl who uh, I'm in love with. So uh, if you're allowed to say that, then uh, that's the reason. I think you're allowed to say that. All right. <laughs> How old are you, Jill? Oh, don't, which time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael, not off the hook? Not off the hook? No, well, why are you getting married so young? Well, obviously, um, same reason. I, <laughs> I, I can't see myself with uh, anybody else. And, um, you know, Donna's very easy uh, to get along with. And we're the best of friends, obviously, off, um, you know, at home. And I think you've got to be. So, uh, yeah, I can't see myself being anyone else. So I uh, proposed. And was she a Qu Queenslander born bred? Yes, she is, yeah. Uh, and you swung her over. What about her parents and all her relatives? Have they sort of come along Aussie rules way? Well, they've um, never watched the game, um, her parents and rallies, and all of a sudden they're starting to watch uh, the football and, and follow with great interest. And it's good because they get enthusiastic every time they sort of see me on the TV, which is pretty funny. But uh, Donna has always been around Aussie rules and um, followed it quite intent. She was in a state last night, wasn't she? <laughs> she certainly was. She had a good time and she's paying for it right now. Oh, I, <laughs> I suppose her a few headaches. Yeah. Did, you, did you guys deliberately sort of lay off the drinks last night in case you won? Uh, definitely. Oh, not deliberately. I just the uh, drinks waiter didn't really come round our way too often. <laughs> so uh, that's that's my excuse. I think. And once we won it, there wasn't a chance to get a drink. There's so many people trying to talk to you. So many people shoving a microphone into your hand rather than a drink. That, How about uh, you, Michael? There wasn't you? a chance. <laughs> well, I was in a probably uh, different situation. I I got out of the blocks pretty fast, and I was uh, at by around 12. I think I was about 14 votes or something, and that's when I started to get really nervous because I thought, oh, well, you know, I'm a chance now. So, but before the before the count, I didn't even expect to win. Um, in fact, I, I backed James to win it um, just in front of uh, Paul Kelly and co. And um, you know, it was it was a different situation, and I'm just glad by the end of the night that I won. Do you think it creates a special sort of bond when you win a Brownlow together? 
don't know. <laughs> we we certainly, we certainly spent a lot of time together the last, uh, <laughs> I suppose, 12 hours. Uh, so. I actually uh, started dreaming about Michael last night. <laughs> <laughs> after after the, the events. And, uh... Well, it has happened a few times before, hasn't it? Do you think there's yes, a... Yes, it has. There's a great uh, bond between uh, Bernie Quinlan and Barry Round. Uh, I don't think there's much one between is it, uh, Greg Williams and Tony Loggett. I mean, they're, they've been split up and divorced, you know, yeah. in, in a state. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it must be just a, a great uh, thrill. Now, you're close to a premiership a couple of times, and you will obviously in the next few years. Both of you uh, have a chance for a premiership. Would you rather trade a, a premiership medal for your uh, football Oscar called Brandlow? Uh, I definitely would. I think uh, yeah, premiership's what you play for, and I would give that away for this Brownlow if we won, if we were able to play in this 1996 premiership. Definitely. Yes, is that an honest answer? That's because an you honest are such answer. a perfect role model, Margaret. No. You've trained him beautifully. <laughs> that's that's an honest answer. I really think no, you, you play as a team game, and any footballer who's played and is part of a team will realise that winning a premiership is the ultimate ultimate goal. Well, that's one of the big things about Aussie rules as a sport. It's a team sport. That's right. We should sell so I believe, Ron. We should sell that point more to the public, we don't. <laughs> Obviously, um, you know, you, you blokes have thought a bit about how Corey McKernan might feel today, and we sort of, well, we talked about a bond between you two. Um, you must feel enormous sympathy for him. I mean, to me it seems a bit rough, I think, the way uh, last night I think he was treated a bit like a leper. You might not agree with that, but no, I, I don't. Uh, you don't agree. No, I think you want to focus on the winners, and he couldn't be a winner, and I think him being there, I know it's tough, we know all that, but lots of things that can be tough but still correct, him not being there made all the focus on the winners. Yeah, but still also... So but you he's going to get... You're giving him sympathy now, he'll get plenty of that. <laughs> OK. He's going to win a How grand much final, is there here? So. <laughs> you think he's going to win a grand final? Yeah, I think... Uh, oh, I'll help take back what I said about you. <laughs> 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 well, uh, I'll be barracking for, for the Swans, but I just think North might get over the line. Who are you barracking for? Uh, I think North will win, I think. No, uh, barracking. Uh, barracking for... I would have to break from North Melbourne after spending six yeah. years in Melbourne and seeing Sydney pass me up, Ron, a few years ago. They had a chance oh, to draft Oh, it still them. hurts. Yeah, it still hurts, that's right. The people mightn't know this, but uh, the Swans did take two people out of Canberra yes, as right. uh, uh, youngsters uh, before <laughs> you were chosen. Mm. That's right. Mm. That was before I got there. Exactly right. <laughs> <If you. laughs> I want to go back to this thing about Corey McKernan. Yeah. I want to know if you think the rule should be changed. I don't think it's up to up to players like myself to, to say where the rule has been changed. There's been uh, young players like myself can't come in and sort of really comment on, on rules like that because it, it's why not? It's uh, footy, it's, not politics. Yeah, but it's it's <laughs> sort of a bit like an upstart if you come in and try and, and think and try and put your impression on the game when you've only been around uh, for football for two or three years. I think it's probably more left to the players who have been around for a while, the experienced people like Ron, to really make those decisions who know a lot about the game and have been in the game for a long time. Yeah, but James, you've won a Brownlow. Surely you can comment. <coughs> Way. But winning a Brownlow doesn't give you the uh, doesn't give you the be all, it doesn't make you the be all and end all and give you the right to uh, change the rules. I don't think. Now, Michael, don't say <laughs> yeah what he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, look, the rules are there. They've been pl they've been put in place. Um, it'd be wrong to change it now because um, then I think Corey McKernan would be even more stiff if you changed it um, down the, in the future. Um, the rules have been put in place. Everyone has to buy, uh, abide by it. Um, it's not like it, it, it was a bound to happen sooner or later and uh, Corey's had a sensational season. And um, You know, it's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, you've got to abide by the rules. And he'll get his chance. I mean, he's such a oh yeah, he will champion. win a brand oh. before he's finished his career. Not, in fact, I don't think it's fair that he's able to play at all. He's too. <laughs> 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 not this weekend anyway. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think uh, your other son will shape up as well as Michael? Um, yes. Yeah, I think he, he will. He's got the skills and a lot of ability. talent in the yes. family. Yeah, he's probably not as uh, quick as Michael, but he was, he's getting there. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, Eighteen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. His phone number? You <laughs> <laughs> won't miss out on that one. <laughs> Margaret, it's said that uh, James is the son that every mother wishes she had. <laughs> Can you tell us something he's done wrong? No. Oh, no. I, was, <laughs> I was asked this question last night, as a matter of fact. Oh, no, no, uh, maybe I can, but I won't. He certainly leaves his towels around the bathroom, but uh, except for that, he's that's no, it. He's a great that's son. It. Yes, that's, it. that's <laughs> right. That's I it. have to go and stay with him tonight. Remember, <laughs> so. so he's never given you a moment's worry. 
Oh, well, on the football field, just think about it. <laughs> and whether he'd get to that play in that be, grand final. It must be difficult watching, like, you know, with this yeah. injury. It must yeah, be hard to is. watch. This year's been a lot better, but he's had some terrible injuries. And, and if I can't see him or somebody goes down, I quickly sort of turn to somebody next to me and say, where's James? <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so that, that's probably the worry. OK, everyone, thank you very much for coming in and uh, congratulations Thanks again. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.